interaction diagram case study. We discussed in the class diagram, in the object diagram, there is a case study of order management system. So, here also we are discussing this order management system for the case study of the interaction diagram. So, let us consider the sequence diagram at first and we know that before considering any kind of interaction diagram, we should consider what are the objects we are going to have. So, the sequence diagram has got four objects. The first one is the customer, then order, special order and normal order. If you consider our class diagram video, there in, case that in that video we have discussed that order is nothing but one abstract class and this special order and normal order, they are nothing but concrete classes. So, the following diagram shows the message sequence for special order object and same can be used in case of normal order object also. It is important to understand the time sequence of message flow and for this purpose when and what message is going to be sent that is the main purpose to be to be described in case of sequence diagram. The message flow is nothing but a method call of a object. So, the first call is the send order. So, we are having one method the method name is send order which is a method of the order object. The next call is the confirm which is a method of the special order object and the last call is known as the dispatch which is a method of the special order object. The following diagram mainly describes the method calls from one object to another and this is also the actual scenario when the system is running. So, I think uh, to have the better idea let us show you and discuss on the diagram. So, here you see we are having this function this method that is a send order always remember from the source object to the target object when this method will be there which is nothing but a message actually flowing then obviously it should be the member function of the target object that means object must be defined under some class. So, in that very class this particular method must be existing. So, that is why send order should be the one of the methods of this order object and then this is my confirm. So, it should be one of the methods of this special order object and here you see this dispatch we are having. So, this is a method which will be one of the methods of this special order object. So, what is this? That is the object that is the head of this timeline and here we are having this nothing void colon customer. That means, we are not mentioning the object name colon is the is the separator between the object name and the class name and this is the actually the class name. So, here we are having some anonymous object. So, that is why the object is having no name here and here we, this is the this is the respective what is this? This is the activation. So, that means this particular object will remain activated for this period of time and during this period of time they are also supposed to get executed. So, send order. So, from this customer object to the order object and then confirmation from the order object to the special order object dispatch will be there then the control will be returned back. So, this is the sequence diagram of our case study that is the order management system. So, let us discuss the our collaboration diagram also. So, this is the collaboration diagram which has been made from that respective sequence diagram on this order management system. So, initialization we are having this customer object, we are having this order object, send order in the previous diagram we had that idea that send order must be in between this customer object and this order object. Here you see the send order this message we are having in between this customer object and this order object and here you can find that in case of collaboration diagram this messages are numbered. So, that numbering was absent in case of sequence diagram. So, there is a basic difference between this sequence diagram and the collaboration diagram. In case of sequence diagram we are getting this idea that what is the time and at what time which function which method is to be invoked is to be called and here we are getting this ordering you see here we are having this numbering before this messages and in this way this is this particular diagram is depicting the collaboration diagram of our case study order management system. Thanks for watching this video.